like yesterday right so i'm just going to use control n uh, for a new file now there are actually a few things that we didn't uh, really go through thoroughly here actually if you click on advanced functions there are several advanced functions that you can play around with for example if you don't want the background color to be when you create a new file if you don't want it to be for example here the background color is white if you don't want it to be white you can have it as transparency like this for example right or Or in my case, I think for the purpose of this exercise, I'm just going to go with background color. The default is background color, as you can see here, right? So I'm just going to go with that. And um, like I said, because we are exploring um, what I said earlier, the advanced, not, not say advanced, like other usage of elliptical and rectangular select tool as well as text, I think one way of uh, effectively and efficiently manipulating these would be to create a logo. Like, I'm just going to show you how a logo can be created. Of course, as I said, when we do precision drawing like logos and stuff, we'll need these guides. So I'm just going to put a, a horizontal guide and vertical guide. By now, I think you've already gotten really familiar with guides. Right? You've been using it several times. Right? <laughs> I'm just going to use the ellipse select tool and, <coughs> and then just draw a circle here and then expand on that idea to create a logo all right so i'm gonna go to layers i'm gonna create a new layer here shape control n and i'm just gonna call this layer a uh, logo background or something logo background all right um then i'm just gonna color it black because it's the foreground color and it's easy of course if you want to you can change it into something else um or you know what let's get a bit adventurous and use this pattern fill yeah uh, apparently there are many patterns i've never really uh what call it i've never really uh, explored that so i'm just going to use pine here right so we have that kind of pattern okay now <clears throat> here let's say i'm gonna cut uh a few of these this is these are pretty easy because you can see that uh, the patterns are filled up pretty nicely in such a way that if I want to cut this side and that side evenly like that I can just use these lines right but a lot of times we are not afforded these so you can again be adventurous and use uh, even more guides I'm just gonna use a guide at 30% and then another guide at 70% oh, it actually coincides with the line that's very nice Right. But like I said, uh, not, not all the time we'll have patterns which are very nicely distributed and lined up like this. Right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut out this piece here, this part here. So I'm just going to use the rectangular select tool and then select that and then just, I just press delete. So I understand that if you're using a Mac, you might not be able to use the delete just like that, in which case you might have to go to uh, edit and cut right I'm just gonna do it for this side over here uh, and make it um, look a bit more logo ish all right so um, not really logo ish usually with regards to a logo like if you imagine a school logo or something it will look meaning the, the top part will be flat or something like that so I'm just gonna use the ellipse select tool uh, but not have it uh, fixed aspect ratio and I'm just going to get rid of the top part over here like that right so yeah you, you can also do something like that meaning select something out of, outside of the canvas right and I'm just going to press delete so I get something which is closer to an emblem right um, uh, and then what I can do with this shape is that I can then scale it like this right but instead of scaling it to scale meaning um, width and height I'm just gonna scale the height making it taller like that and a bit more logo ish right I'm just gonna move it up towards the center of the canvas then I would then have the base of my logo like none right. okay, now we have the, the base of our logo 
now we can do things with it uh, for example we can edit text add and edit text and so on right so i'm just gonna add text here so you can just click on this text tool create or edit text layers right i'm just gonna click on that now there are a few things that you'll see at the bottom left corner once you select that text editing tool one of which is color so you, you can choose the color that you want i'm just gonna go with foreground which is black you can also choose the font so the different font again i'm just gonna go with poor richard because why not <laughs> right okay so let's just write the name of this particular organization that uh whose logo i'm gonna do for let's say it's per satuan dan puan right so uh so we have those writing and um let's do other things for example logos of course is not just about text we can have other things so i'm just gonna randomly just put things here uh, i'm just gonna put this apple here because again why not uh, right so this apple is there um, i created a new layer shift control n so now the apple is on its own layer uh, and then i'm gonna name this layer something let's say for example i'm gonna put this apple on the top left corner so i'm just gonna name it top left like this this is quite good discipline in terms of design um, or rather good, good practice uh, in my opinion at least because when you create layers like that you have better control of uh, how you're going to manipulate the stuff that you have uh, the elements that you have within your design right let's say i figured ah oh, maybe this size is enough for example i'm just gonna bring it here right uh, and I'm gonna I'm not gonna use the the whole apple thingy uh, instead I'm just gonna cut parts of it like this right I'm just gonna use some of it like that uh, and maybe some of it like this right um, then I'm just gonna create another layer maybe right and for the top right okay um, then just the rectangular select tool for some reason it's all right never mind rectangular select tool uh, I'm just gonna fill it with maybe just a color right uh, let's go with uh, we already have red apples I mean let's go with uh, blue because I'm from Johor <laughs> right so we have oopsie uh, foreground yeah make sure you you change this yeah uh, just now I didn't I just meet I just selected pattern fill so I'm actually filling that with a pattern the same pattern so now i'm gonna go with foreground color fill and then fill that so now i have that blue over there right um then maybe just another element at the bottom you know a lot of logos at the bottom they have some kind of like a book or something right so i just name it bottom i think the the better way of doing this would be to <clears throat> um, go ahead and look for um a book online meaning a diagram of a book online or something but uh, I'm gonna be a bit more adventurous here and do something else. Uh, for example, um, let's fill it with a gray color. Um, Ready? Then I'm just gonna. gonna edit these parts here right so it becomes more like a book Let's see oh, for some reason it's
right? Uh, then do the same thing over here, maybe. Instead, this time around, instead of uh, cutting it, I can color it instead. more like a book right um, and then we have something that looks like a logo right uh, maybe just get rid of the guides and so we have a fairly super simple logo Right. So what we're going to do now is we'll have you uh, do this logo. Uh, 